Good morning. Welcome to our, uh, our Word for All Ages this morning. Uh, this past spring, we've been uh, out at our house, we've been reworking a piece of land into being a field. And it gave me, uh, it reminded me of a story for this week. Years ago, when the city was first built, the original planner had left large sections of land free for the people in the surrounding areas to do what they wanted with them. So all throughout the city, there were little pieces of green speckled without. Some were parks, some were community gardens, some were places for art installations. It was really up to the people. But there was one little piece of land that even as the city grew up around it, nothing ever happened with it. It became a place where the ground became hard, very little grew, garbage was thrown, and the people were really dissatisfied with it. So after many years, the city sent a worker to help the people decide what to do with it. The people in the surrounding areas were from all different backgrounds. Some made a lot of money, some didn't make very many, some were new to the area, some had been there for years. The city representative came and she started talking to each of the people, going door to door to door. The kids wanted a playground, some people wanted a garden, some people just wanted the area clean and didn't really care. And some people didn't want anything done with it because they didn't want to deal with any of the people around it. So she listened and she listened and she tried to get some consensus, but over time she realized she just needed to start doing something. So she went and she went with her hoe and her rake and she started making rows in the, in the area for the garden. The kids started dropping by and helping her plant seeds and people who wanted the garden came and they started helping out, running water growing plants. The people who really didn't care thought there was something interesting going on, so they dropped by. And after a while, the people who, uh, the people who really didn't want to deal with anyone still were very curious about what was going on, so they came by as well. And the garden grew and grew. With all the kids running around, sometimes they were getting in trouble, sometimes they were getting in dirt, and so the people started getting equipment for them to play on. And they had a place in the middle of the city where they didn't have any backyards for them to play and be kids. It was amazing that in the middle of the area, that in the middle of a concrete jungle, in the middle of all of these buildings, that this little piece of life was existing. It came time for the representative from the city to leave. She had done her work and spent her time in this part of the city. And it was time for her to go back to her office downtown. The people were kind of upset that uh, that she wouldn't be there to help them. What if the garden went back to the way it had been before, just a vacant piece of land with garbage on it? She told them that she had given them all the tools. They had been there helping her. They had been there doing the work themselves. They knew what to do. And most of all, they had each other. And if they really needed her, she was just a call away. In the garden of our lives, sometimes we're worried about what will be, what will happen in our hearts. And so it's important for us to talk with those around us, to, to share with, with others what is happening in our heart so that we can bear good fruit and veggies, <laughs> so that we can have a good life, so that we can unburden ourselves and bring life into our hearts. Let's pray this morning. Dear God, Help us always to look at what we have and build upon that which we have to bring about goodness into this world. You've given us everything that we need to, make, to bring life into this world. Help us always remember that you are here with us now and forever. Amen. Just a reminder that uh, in the art spark that's linked below, there's a thing for Pentecost. If you want to make a short video or do a, a small craft and send a picture, it'd be really helpful. Take care. Bye. Oh.